He says he's going to let Twitter users decide his future. He posted a poll on whether he should step down after two tumultuous months as CEO. More than 57% say he should. This, as a new batch of Twitter files released over the weekend, journalist Matt Taibbi revealed that in July of 2020, the FBI sent Twitter a questionnaire that asked, quote, in what ways and by what measures do you see official propaganda actors as less active than other groups on your platform? And, quote, how do you differentiate official propaganda actors from foreign state actors? That led Twitter's former head of trust and safety to email his staff, writing, quote, I'm frankly perplexed by the requests here, which seem more like something we get from a congressional committee than the Bureau. I'm not particularly comfortable with the Bureau and by extension the intelligence community demanding written answers here. Pete, I think this is very interesting because um, when you invite someone into your bed, should you really be <laughs> curious that someone's spooning you? I was going to say, y Yoel Roth, the uh, gentleman wow. that said that, had been happy to collaborate. He effectively become a subsidiary of intelligence agencies. Then when they press the initiative and say, now it's time to spoon, he's like, well, no, that's too, that's, that's too far. <laughs> he was happy to be that extension. That was, that's what's been so problematic about this Twitter exposure from the beginning. Yes. Mm. Twitter can do what it wants. You can sue him, I guess, for the, uh, the, the conduct pol the policy they have. But when they're collaborating with the government to be an extension of censorship, that's where it becomes a violation of all of our First Amendment rights. So that, that's what has mattered here. So even if Elon Musk does step aside, mm -hmm. which I was a little perplexed by the poll, maybe he thought he was going to win, maybe he wants to hand it over to somebody <laughs> else, I don't yeah. know. Um, either way, he's overturned the apple cart that needed to be overturned. It's a good so thing. That, that was my question when I saw the poll. Number yeah. one, what is he trying to get out of it? And two, will he, as he says, abide by it? Well, he's going where no man has gone before, pardon the pun, in SpaceX. But um, I think he's very deliberate. So I think he put the poll out there, as, as Pete says, because if he loses in some way, maybe he wanted to just upend this Twitter apple cart, get these files out there, start this mm -hmm. conversation. And he does want somebody to take over, because he's got a lot of other stuff to do on his plate. Um, I, I kind of think he's a man of his word. He said, if they vote me out, I'll go. So we'll see um, how this ends. But having said that, this has been a tremendous story, these dumps of files that keep coming out that have been exposed. What I'm concerned about, though, is that people don't necessarily care. We talk about it on our channel ad nauseum, mm -hmm. but no one else is talking about it. And I look at the midterms and say, well, there was crime, there was inflation, there were all these things people were worried about, but they didn't vote on them. And so I also worry that this story in some way is going to kind of get buried, if you will, um, especially because they're taking so long to kind of expose it. Having said that, it had to be done before yeah. the 2024 election. It had to. So knowing that this was uh, a, a lovely retirement scheme for people leaving the FBI after, in some cases, decades, should we be concerned that other social media is also embedded with former federal A hundred percent. I mean, this is just what we know about Twitter, because this place happens to have a new level of transparency. But what about the others? Look, I've said all along, and I, I think House GOP uh, leader Kevin McCarthy is also now saying something similar. But my question from the beginning was, were these lists, these black lists, uh, for shutting down conservatives on the platform, were those shared with other social media, and and were they sold anywhere else? Like is Google with the with the blacklist search list that came out that Dan Bongino is on? Um, you know, who else had access to this material at Facebook at any of these places? And if you think that's not problematic, yes, we're being watched. You buy a pair of shoes, and then it pops up in your email that you might like another pair of shoes from that same <laughs> vendor. So clearly, we're being watched. Our IP addresses are like your slip is showing. But, you know, at the same time, who will investigate that? Who will go after that? As I've said before, Elon Musk can't buy every platform. And I'm not surprised that he'll hand this off. I am a little concerned that whoever gets it may not have his hunger for dropping the truth. And how much more do we need to see? Can we see some of the raw data with some of these reporters, Taibbi and, and Barry Weiss and the like? so that we have a real idea of what to look for in the future. Is it still going on? What has Elon Musk done to mitigate it? Or does he it? drop the title and he's still in charge? And he's still in charge, right, exactly.
But yeah, you're absolutely right. We don't want it to revert to the status quo. Yes. I think, no. you know, that that's the biggest risk here. Sure. I don't yes. think he yeah. will allow that. No. I really don't. Even if he steps back, I think that he still will be influencing the company in a big way. I just think that he's made too much of a statement here and put too much money up uh, of his own money to, um, to, to just hand over the reins and let it go back. What do you think is going to happen? Well, yeah, I have to take him seriously because the last two polls that he did, whether he should reinstate Donald Trump, um, that said yes, he removed those barriers. Should he reinstate those suspended accounts where doxing his location? The voters said yes, he did that as well. So I'm going to take him serious that he's going to step down as CEO. Why did he do this poll? I don't know, but I, I agree that maybe he wanted to step down. Let's be honest. If the poll didn't go the way he wanted it to, he has the ability to change it. Um, but it is interesting to see who's going to take over. I think we still have a lot more Twitter files to come, specifically the COVID and Fauci ones. I'm counting down for those. Um, but I think he's going to stay. But I, I, I think he needs to step down as the role of CEO. He has way too many other things, as you mentioned. But I do think that he is not going to let go of making sure that there's full transparency. Well, and I worry, you know, that he feels like his safety is being threatened Absolutely. based on being the only one standing. And if other people are not going to do their homework at those other platforms. I mean, I just refuse to, to believe that this disease only lived in one no. place. Well, we know that DOJ was in communications with, it, with Facebook. I mean, that's already come out. The DOJ, FBI, yeah. they, we know that they're all in cahoots. And while we continue to talk about TikTok and the Chinese Communist Party, let's be mm -hmm. honest, our own government is spying on yes, us. Yes, they're, they're spying on us well. formally and informally by infiltrating some of these tech giants. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.